Hey beer drinkers! So I am coming to you from my new home here in uh, Buffalo, New York. And I've been here about mm, five months now and I've really been surprised at how quickly Buffalo has really felt like home to me. You know, I thought I was going to be camped inside all winter with nothing to do but record beer videos all day but I was very, very wrong. Um, life does not stop here during the winter and I usually have to pick and choose what to do because there's always a million things going on. So it's been a lot of fun. So for those of you unfamiliar with Buffalo, which I assume is probably most of you, I made you a handy diagram. So this is New York State. Um, first thing you should know is that New York City and Buffalo are nowhere near each other. So this is New York City. Uh, this is Buffalo. It's on the other side of the state. Um, this is Canada. <laughs> and there's some Great Lakes here and Canada's over here. So Buffalo actually has a way more in common with Canada than it does with uh, New York City. Uh, so much so that they actually fly the Canadian flag everywhere here. Uh, you go to City Hall, they've got the U.S. flag, and they've got the Canadian flag. I don't even think I know what the New York State flag looks like, because uh, they don't really fly it anywhere. Canada wins, apparently. Um, our relationship with Canada is apparently more important than the one with the rest of the state. Um, but it's fun. It's, it's different and definitely not something I was expecting when I moved here. So that's your geography lesson for the day, but it's time to get back to the beer. So I am quite surprised at how quickly my beer preferences changed when I moved out here. You know, instead of going for those really hoppy IPAs that I drank all the time in San Diego, I'm definitely going for much heartier beers out here. This beer in particular has kind of become my go-to winter beer this season. This is the Brooklyn Brewery Black Chocolate Stout. And of course, after I just spent all that time explaining to you how New York City and Buffalo have nothing in common, I choose a Brooklyn beer over a Buffalo one. But ignore that. <laughs> and uh, before I uh, go more into this, I'm going to open it and take a sip. I do have this uh, sweet Buffalo beer glass. Um, this was one of my, my first purchases here. So this beer here, the Black Chocolate Stout um, from Brooklyn Brewery, pretty much hits all of my requirements for being a good go-to winter beer. First thing is it's really easy to find. In the winter when it's freezing outside and you're stuck in the middle of uh, lake effect snow, you definitely can't be driving all around town to get a beer. And this I can pretty much pick up at any grocery store, six packs around $10. You can get your beer <laughs> and get home and you're good to go. Second, I'm going to want something with a pretty dense body and flavor, um, especially when it comes to a stout. I can't stand watery stouts. They drive me crazy. Um, so chances are if you can see through it, I'm not going to like it. And this guy is pretty dark. There's nothing to see through here. And my last requirement, and this one might be controversial, but I like something with a high alcohol content. So this baby here is 10% EBV. It's not joking around. Um, you know, I like it because I can just have one and it warms me up and I get a good buzz and it satisfies my beer craving and then I'm done. You know, in the summer, you're at barbecue, you don't want something this heavy or with this much alcohol, but in the winter when it's freezing and you're huddled up with your blankets and your cat and there's a blizzard outside, I don't mind just going for efficiency. And this one definitely takes care of that for me. So what about you guys? Uh, what are your go-to winter beers? Uh, if you don't have winter, like kind of San Diego, what do you, what's your go-to all-around beer or all-season beer? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about it. And since my videos have been so sporadic, if you want to follow my beer adventures here in Buffalo, New York, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Hop of the Morning. And it's 
all beer all the time, so you don't have to worry about other boring parts of my life. It's pretty much just beer. <laughs> Until next time, friends, happy drinking!